event that everybody is talking about. It's on the 29th, the 30th and the 31st of October and it's Fanex Open House event. I'm here with Tom Boucher and we're going to find out about why this event is so different and unusual from a, shall we say, a typical open house event. So why is that, Tom? I think what we've tried to do this year is promote UK manufacturing, not just Fanex products. Mm. So we've asked a lot of our system partners, a lot of other CNC companies, government, Can you uh, name some educational of those? facilities, Mazak are coming mm. in, the MTC are coming in, our local MP is going to be taking part, hopefully the West Midlands Mayor is going to be taking mm. part. And we want to see how we can join the dots together to get government, education and uh, manufacturers together to work out why we are not producing the numbers we should be producing why we haven't in the UK had the uptake on automation that every other other country has had as yesterday's manufacturing numbers are down but the day before the Americans announced a 7.6 percent increase in robot uptake in the last year ours has dropped so why yeah. are we not doing it so I've done my research on your website it's something like 76 robots um, forgive me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. to every 10,000 workers. And we're like 14 countries behind, aren't we? And yes. is that Europe? Yep, no, in Europe, we're about number 15 on 71 robots for 10,000 workers. The worldwide average is 76. Uh, Germany is 309. Um, so you can see if Germany is 309 for 10,000 workers, mm. it equates to, for every hour a British worker works, we're 30% less efficient than a German worker. Mm. We've got to automate. We have yep. to do it. The two things aren't exclusive, are mutually exclusive. The UK has always thought that we'll keep low, a low unemployment and low automation, but Germany's got lower unemployment and higher automation. The two things don't work against each other. Mm. For every job that, in, that robots will replace, and they will replace some yes, jobs, they will. there's supposed to be about three jobs created due to that. So mm. most jobs we don't know about. So there's no need to be scared of automation. We have to use automation. It's mm. a totally different thing. I read a, something the other day that something like 60 or 70% of kids that are starting school this September will start in a job that isn't yet invented. Yes, actually, that's quite interesting because you can imagine it. We can't envisage the future and what's going to happen. Tom, I've got to ask you, what are these days about? Where are you bridging that gap? Because you've said we're behind mm -hmm. and we know that. So what are you doing as a company, a FANUC doing to you know, help this, make it work, okay. improve. The, one of the days we're going to talk about upskilling, how we have to educate today's workforce on using today's automation. We can't look forward to 10 years time when the UK will hopefully have its own automation based companies and all the startup companies. We have to use today's technology. So what is stopping us using today's technologies? Mm -hmm. How do we get the funding? How do we get the message across that we have to automate and we have to upskill. Mm. What is stopping people from upskilling? What, why are we not doing it? Why is it seen to be manufacturing and engineering is a legitimate profession in Germany, mm. but not necessarily seen so here all the time? So why mm. aren't we doing it? Why aren't we upskilling those people mm. to do these tasks? We need to be world leaders. I think anybody that's heard me speaking about anything before, we do have everything we need in this country. Yep. We have great engineers, we have great workforce, we have great manufacturers, we have great everything else. We just don't have a great investment strategy. Well. We need to automate more. We need to, we're lucky in some ways. What we don't have is the reason that a lot of countries are not in a position to do it is we don't have that many legacy systems because we haven't invested for the last 30 years. Mm. So it's not that we have to worry about replacing stuff that's there because most of the stuff is quite old. Mm. We're not stuck in any general way of doing it. We can pick the latest cutting-edge technology and put that into workforce. So let's make it happen. So we're going to find out all these answers. Is this day one? I mean, you've got they're, three they're days. They're kind of spread across the different days. Mm -hmm. um, and the final um, agenda is not exactly set yet because we do have hopefully some MPs coming, the mayor coming, various other people. Those three days, as you might know, at the end of October could signal some changes down in government um so we need to <laughs> we need to work on on the days when we can do it mm. but th so they will change but they there will be little bits of those elements to suit everybody everybody across every day so tom if you if you don't mind if you're just speaking to everybody here 
why and who should come to an event like this and what are they going to benefit when they're walking away what are they going to get from it because it takes a lot for an engineer to walk out of his shop and come to an event like this so i mean we're aiming this at every level there's going to be somebody here for students through engineers through management through everybody else in any business to come and see we will have all of the products on display here so all the robots will be moving the injection molders will be moving the wire edms we will have some system stuff out in the workshop out there making things showing people what mm. we can do so whatever level you want to see it and um, there will be something here for it we will have talks from some of the educational facilities the mtc as well as some of the other bring people along apprentices why we need to grow apprenticeships we will have world skills here who fanuc are partnering for the world skills event in shanghai 2021 incredible event so we will be showcasing what we're going to do for the next three year cycle to get us to 2021 so that we mm. can get some teams of uk youngsters to represent the uk and mm. try and win the gold medal in the robot integration i think anybody that's seen the, the coverage from kazan last week that closing ceremony was awesome mm. Let, let's grow that let's get we need to get some enthusiasm going I, I was seeing today how most parents now believe that an apprenticeship is a better route for their children oh. than a degree and it's true, so let's it's do brilliant. it, let's grow it again. Let's do it, I like this enthusiasm, Tom. So we're talking about the 29th, the 30th and the 31st. It's not just managers, it, it certainly isn't. It's everybody with an engineering firm. If you want to grow, if you want to invest in the future, as what Tom's saying is, it's in the centre of the UK, so it's Coventry, where you'll need to come to. And I'm sure you'll make them very welcome with um, a cup of tea and maybe yeah, a little bit of food. There's much tea, there's some lunch here. <laughs> Anything you want is here. Okay, look forward to seeing you there.